Hello and welcome to It's Like Taking Candy from a Small Infant by Curtis Lauder, Lauren Ho, and Ann Kelly. So the basic setup is this. A person, either me or Lauren in this case, has two handfuls of M&Ms. In one of our hands, the M&Ms are packaged in small, fun-sized baggies. In the other, the M&Ms are just loose, with no packaging at all. We offer the subjects both, randomizing which hand the bag is in, which hand the loose M&Ms are in. We say to each person who comes up, Hey, do you want some M&M's? And when they answer yes, as most people did, we hold out both hands and they choose which M&M's they want. We then recorded which option, bag or loose, this subject takes and which hand that option was in. Our initial hypothesis was that about 90% of people would choose the M&M's in the prepackaged bag. And so here's our data in a visual form. Uh, As you can see, an overwhelming number of people picked the bagged candy, as can be expected, but only about two-thirds. Um, and, and also, um, as can be expected, that between left and right hands, people about pick the same amount. Um, so you're more as just as likely to pick from the left hand as the right hand. Uh, and so here's our data kind of broken up. As you can see, we have um, uh, the exact numbers for everything. Uh, and Weirdly enough, two-thirds of people picked bagged candy, which is a kind of insanely um, small number compared to what we expected of 90%. So this is our um, distribution. As you can see, uh, well, something we noticed, right? This is a kind of distribution over time. So what we did was we... Um, we, we um, grouped every five trials together and something we noticed is that the people who picked the hand to candy loose candy out of our hands they were more likely to pick it later in the experiment than earlier right and so we thought about it and we, and we kind of discussed it and, and we came up with the idea that well the earlier subjects are mostly people in our class right you know, 1 to 15 were mostly people from our class. While, like, 26 to 41, that was pretty much all underclassmen, those kids we brought in. So this brings up an interesting theory. You know, maybe underclassmen are more likely to, willing to pick candy out of our hands. So this would be an interesting experiment to kind of see like, maybe if there's a correlation between age and willingness to pick candy out of our cans, that uh, candy out of our hands, Ugh. so yeah, that would be an interesting experiment. So in conclusion, um, our hypothesis was, um, wrong. We predicted 90% of people would pick candy from the bag's hand, unfortunately only uh, around 60% did. Uh, 34.2% of people chose the loose candy. Uh, We also should have uh, randomized the order in which we um, placed uh, the hand and bag candy in. Um, We would have done this by beforehand uh, using a random number generator to randomly assign left and right hands for each trials and just going down that list as we did all of our trials in order to ensure that we didn't accidentally use uh, incorrect distribution of left and right hands. So what we learned throughout our project is that people want more food versus packaging and that with our experiment design we should be more prepared when people come toward us and stay in one place because by us moving around the room when we were attempting to get samples for our projects um, could have affected our outcome of people who was going to take the candy and also when distributing our candy and Annie and I should have acted similarly because one of us was really really happy and then some of us probably were sitting there waiting for people to come to us to get the candy and might have not had the same energy level as annie who was running around trying to get people to do the experiment we also should have uh, randomized the order in which we um, placed 
dip the hand in bag candy in. Um, we would have done this by beforehand uh, using a random number generator to randomly assign left and right hands for each trials and just going down that list as we did all of our trials in order to ensure that we didn't accidentally use uh, incorrect distribution of left and right hands. At the end of our project, we decided that we, have, we would have changed some things, such as have a more consistent amount of M&Ms that were loose in one hand versus the other because we randomly scooped in and got random amounts of candy which is, could have influenced other people's decisions. Um, we would have controlled where we would have given the candy. We wouldn't have gone out and stayed at the table. We might have just gone out or might have just stayed at the table. We would have changed our behavior because Annie and I could have been acting very differently based on what our perceptions were like toward other people. Some we called over, some people we knew, some people we acted very happy toward and just gave candy to them. We would have randomized what candy went in which hand, so the bag m and M's in one versus the loose m and M's in the other, and then switched that up at certain times. We also would have came in change the amount of kids that we gave candy to because if there was a group of kids that came together to our station and one person chose one thing and then the rest of them followed like say one person chose the bag of M&Ms and then all the rest of them chose the bag of M&Ms that could have influenced other people's decisions whether or they came separate and they chose whichever one they wanted probably without the influence of other people.